Hello everyone, this is Donna and today I want to share with you my package from Deco Fun and I'll be guest designer for them for the month of March. And I received a wide white ribbon. This one is a mint green with glitters in it and I'm not sure if you're able to see the glitters but they're really pretty. I really love that one. And here's another one in pink and it's the same width which is really nice for us to work with for paper projects. Pink with glitter in it. And these come in increments of five yards and they're sold individually. This one's yellow with white polka dots. A white with a silver polka dots. A blue with white polka dots. This one is a peach, kind of creamy peach. Really pretty shade. And we have this light pink. and a lemon meringue shade. It's very lovely. And I like all of these colors. They're all so pretty. The, the machine from Decofun, and this is their bow maker. They sell it on their site. Right, let me show it all to you. It comes like this. There's nothing to do, just use it. <clears throat> so you don't have to figure out how to put it together or anything like that. It's very simple. And I have a couple of projects that I've been working on and I waited to put the bowls on so that we could do it together. One of the first projects is uh, a tag that I made and this tag definitely needs a bow right here. So uh, I made it out of chenille stems, some little sequins some glitter and the paper is from Kitty Scrapbook Post. And I put a little bit of fiber up here. And so we're going to work on a bow for this. And I think really this pink or even the mint green will look nice on it. What are you thinking? I left them all out so we can choose together. Too bad we're not live, huh? We could choose this together and go for it. But yes, I think this is the prettiest one. And so, let's work on a bow. And you're going to see how easy it is to use it. Sometimes we feel intimidated when we get new machines because they kind of come with their own instructions and all of that. You don't even need instructions for this. I really like the way it glistens. Isn't that pretty? So we're going to do this together. And uh, all you do is put the bow on one side of the bow maker and decide how many times you're going to wrap it around. I'm going to wrap it twice. I'm going to do a double bow. But you could keep going all the way till, till you want to. There is no limit of how many times you can put this on. Usually I'll just cut off a big piece and I'll just keep going with it, but in this case I'm not going to. It's so pretty, this ribbon, that I don't want to waste not even a little bit of it. Alright, here we go. we set up. It was that easy. I just went around it twice, as you saw. And I'm going to take a little piece of any ribbon that I have around to chai what a beautiful bow this makes and the nice thick type of ribbon look at how pretty it is 
We got a double ball. I like to put bowls on everything. That's it. That's me. Bowls on everything. Beautiful bowl. I like this bowl so much. Wow. I think I'm going to use this bowl on something else that I made instead. Uh, I made a bag, a gift bag, and this is actually a recycled bag from Starbucks where they give you the pastries. Well, they gave me an extra bag, and so I love the sound of it, and I said I want to do something with it, and I ended up making a gift bag, and I know I want to put a bow up here, and I think it's a perfect size for this kind of a bag because my tag is small. So it would need a smaller bow, and I'm going to show you in a minute how we're going to make smaller bows. Because, of course, card makers, and when you're doing little projects, you want a smaller bow. But for the bag, this is a perfect bow. Let me put it right up there. I think that's lovely right here on the bag and what I did was to keep it closed was I used a paper clip but it opens like that and you put your goodies in there so the bowl doesn't have to be ripped off because I put it on the cover and it can stay it, and they could use the bag over again or they could take the bowl off and use it for whatever they want to use it for right and let's put a little something there and I'm thinking I'm going to put a little flower there. This little cream flower. Just going to be right here. And over here I put a saying, it says, never stop doing little things for others. Sometimes those little things occupy the biggest part of their heart. I think it's adorable. What do you think? Thank you, Deb. I love that ribbon. Really beautiful. And uh, I'm a customer of Deco Fun. I actually purchased a, a machine. Well, they have a kits if you're interested in kits what's a kit it comes with the machine and then you get an assortment of ribbons according to the kit that you purchase right and so I had purchased a Christmas kit and uh, I liked it so much that I purchased one for my daughter for Christmas too so she was so excited and you know what they did I, I think it's so nice I sent in a message and I said it was from my daughter for Christmas if they could add on a message and when she opened the box because I didn't tell her she was going to get it so when she opened the box there was my message and they wrote it in in large letters and she got so excited when she got the gift so this is really sweet for anybody for a gift for whether it be Mother's Day, birthdays, Christmas. I used this for Christmas for my daughter, among other things that I got her, and she was super excited, and she loves her machine, so that went really well for me and for her because I love to make her happy. Okay, so we used this one. Let's put this one away and save it. And let's use another one. Let's see. I still have this one, which I want to put a little bow on. Plus, I made this card. Remember, if you saw my umbrella, my friendship umbrella, you know that I used uh, the Prima paper. You and me, I think it's called, that I got in Hobby Lobby. And so I made a card to coordinate with the paper. And I want to put a bow right here. That's why you see that this looks like something's missing. It's the bow. So now we're going to work on smaller balls. Oh, and then let me show the inside. This is the inside. I put a little um, piece of 
fabric here, a little card, and in the back I put the Crafter's Prayer and a little handmade sticker in the back. I like it. I think it's really cute. Okay, so what are we going to do now? I want to make a smaller ball. So, I'm taking this out and I'm putting them to the far left because I'm left-handed, but in that case I'm just pulling the machine down a little bit so that you can still appreciate what I'm doing. And now we're going to do a series of smaller bowls. I have a couple of projects to put bowls on. Too bad we're not live, otherwise I would be able to ask you what do you think. This one, I was thinking, again this is the, this paper in the background is Kitty's Scrapbook Post paper. This was the Valentine's collection if I'm not mistaken. And this other paper that I used was something I found in Hobby Lobby that I made an umbrella with. If you've been watching my series of umbrellas, check out Style 2, by the way. It's really pretty. And uh, so right here, I want to put a bow. I know I have this um, trim here, but also I want to put a bow. And I have this other trim up here and a butterfly. But here I want to put a bow. And what I'm using this tag for is to house... I do all this candy. So what I did was a little pocket in the back and I put it in there and it's nice and snug. So this is a double treat. Besides it being a tag, it houses the chocolate. So I'm going to want a bow for this one. And I'm thinking because this one has hints of green, we might want to make a green one. Not to always use the same colors. And this other one also has... Um, this one, let's see, we may want to use, let me see, the green might look good actually for both tags. What I do is when I have free time, I have a whole bag that I just keep making bowls and tossing them in. So a lot of times while I'm watching uh, videos of you ladies making things, or I'm watching a TV show, I'll take my bow maker to my desk on the side, on the other side of my desk where the TV is, and I'll just make bows. They're that easy. And before you know it, I have a bag full ready to go. So, let's work on these bows. Even the bows I don't use, what I'll do is put them inside my bag and they'll be ready to be used. You notice I took the two sticks out of here. There was one and one on either side. And these two curled shaped holders actually hold a ribbon in place. Since I moved it here because I want a smaller bow, what I'm going to do is hold it in place because I won't have this to, serve, to hold it for me. But that's what this serves for. But I can easily hold it in place and I'm just going to cut some twine now to just have it ready for whenever I do some of these bows. Just be ready. I'm going to do quite a few in a smaller size because most of your card projects and so forth need smaller bows. So I'm just going to do a, an assortment of colors and as I'm doing that we'll choose later on which ones. Now when you're using the corner here, I hold it like this with a little tick and I wrap it around, say double because I don't want to waste too much. And because I just make random bows to have them ready, I usually don't put the topper on it until I'm ready to use it so that I could switch it out for whatever I might want. Now we're going to work on the one for the candy, the secret pocket there. And we already have this little um, netting bow and we're just going to put this one over the top there. Maybe I'll put another butterfly, right? Okay. And this is the ribbon that glistens really nice and since I did choose a project to put it on let me see if I put my butterfly right there in the center 
What do you think about the butterfly in the center of the bow? I think that sounds like a nice idea. Ribbon glistens and the butterfly just sits on top. Look at how adorable is that. And this one's done. This one's ready to send out now. Let's see what else we're going to do. I think I'm going to do another one because I have a couple of projects that have green in them. It's easier with it cut off already. I just don't want to waste it, so I'm trying not to cut off too much that I wouldn't need and then have to throw it away. All right. All we did was wrap it around the poles that easy. And now I'm trying this twine to the center like this. I like to have it tight so that it it indents in the middle. I don't know. Do you like that too, or it doesn't matter to you? I like the indentation that it gives. Cut off the excess here. And here we are again. And you know this this ribbon is two sided, so. On either side it'll work for you that's my double which is a very nice bow too and we still have I've already I made a triple ball and am I gonna do the pink or am I gonna do the green and I think I want to do the mint green I think it looks really cute on here what do you think really cute so let's put our double bow on our tag Thank you. and I'm thinking what am I going to put in the center there let's see if I have a little cabbage on Really quick for a little cabbage one. Kind of these little green ones, but no, because it's green. Pink one. Pink one will look cute, right? Let's see the pink one. These little cabbage ones I get on eBay or any of the ladies that sell Natasha Scrap Corner actually sells a lot of those different things. So does Mulaney's. Amy, Love, all of these ladies have goodies for us to complete our projects and, and so much more. I mean, I'm just mentioning two or three that come off my mind at the time, but you and I know there's so many craft stores online that have beautiful gems. And there we go. Our finished tag with that beautiful little bow. Okay, let's see what else we're doing. So now we have three done. Now, I'm back to the card. I do want a small bowl because I just have a small space right here. So we're going to use the, the glistened pink. I don't need an excuse, do I? Huh? No, I don't. Just love that ribbon. Really do. So let's work on one for there. And I know you've got the drill down already. I'm doing a double. So I leave a little bit, sorry. I leave a little bit hanging and I wrap around two times. Once and that's once. And this is twice. And I'll cut a little tag off here. A little tag. There we go. And 
and I'm ready to tie my little little twine in the center. I find it easier to lay it down. This uh, bow maker machine doesn't weigh anything, so you don't have to feel like it's going to be a, a problem to lift and to move. That's why I take it over to where I'm watching videos and so forth. And I even bring it to the living room sometimes when I have um, a movie I really want to watch. And my husband wants to watch. I'll take it to the living room with a little bag, a little scissors, some ribbons. And I'll just start making ribbons before you know it, the bag is full again. And I just like to have my bag ready and full. That way I'm always ready for whatever I have to do. And I don't have to take so much time looking for uh, ribbons and and looking for, uh, uh, you know, the different things we put away and store. So that's what, that's my idea about the, about having a whole bag full. And I just enjoy making them. So, And I know a lot of you asked me to make ribbons. You just wanted to see how I made them especially in my umbrella videos I've been asked to to make them and show you guys how I make them now you're seeing how I make them and that speaks a, a lot for the product too because you didn't even know that I used this machine and yet you were you were telling me how nice my bows were and could I show you how to make them so that's what I'm doing today and what do you think has to go there doesn't it okay this one's good right there little glue in the back and let's place our bow right there this is really a sweet card and uh, my friend Becky Long from Facebook um, sent me an umbrella with this particular line of paper and it's really gorgeous and so for style two of my umbrella, I used this paper for my, isn't that looking beautiful? Little cabbage on now. Let's see what we got. Or, no, a little flower. How about a flower? Let's do a flower. Add all this little bunch of flowers that uh, Archana Josie gifted me in one of her giveaways. Let me see if it's not too big. If it is, then I'll put it somewhere else. No, I think it looks perfect right there. How's that? Gorgeous. Isn't it gorgeous? It just dresses up any project you have. Okay, so we did another one. Look at how fast. We've already done three of them. Four of them, sorry. Look. Let's, let's, let's just add them up. The bag, the card, one of my tags, and another one with the secret compartment in the back for the chocolate. Shh, let's not tell anybody that we have loaded tags. So, with this, I'm going to let you go for today. And I'll be back with some more projects. Deco fun. And I'll leave a link below so you can check out the website. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.